what's up guys what's up what's up what's up welcome back to my channel I feel so much joy every time I say that oh, I'm so hot oh. let me relax um welcome back to my channel guys I'm just coming from doing another video that's why I'm so out of breath I was doing a styling video on this uh, blazer so if you, if you actually want to see that video I'm gonna link it on my description box because I'm I assume that would come before this video so I'll leave that video in my description box so that you can watch it on IGTV so without further ado wait I need to get my notes oh and I need to I'm so oily I need to also touch up my face because I know it will be a long video, a long talk. My sister just made this uh, milkshake. I think she put avocado, bananas, she put milk, not milkshake. Oh, is it a milkshake? I'm not sure. She puts ban bananas, avocado, milk, and honey. Let's do if you know me, if you know Vanessa, you know I like reading books. And ever since I discovered audiobooks, my life has been so much easier because now you don't have to sit on a physical book, you need time for that, you need patience. But now I listen to audiobooks on my way to town, in the mat, when I'm commuting, when I'm doing the dishes taking a shower you know it's just so much easier and I want to get people on this train <laughs> yeah so today I'm going to talk about uh, th my three favorite books this year so far this year has been terrible but at least I've read books so these are my three favorites and I'm going to recommend them to you guys so that you can join my little book club so all the books that I'll be, I'll be talking about today are self-help books because that's really literally all I read. I don't really read fiction. I read non-fiction, mostly um, scientific or about metaphysics or self-help, mostly self-help because I'm trying to, you know, better myself, build a career, build, you know, who I am inside. And if that's your vibe, then this are the so yeah, if you're a reader, if you like books, or if you're trying to cultivate a reading culture, then this is the video that you want to watch. Um, so the first book that I've loved this year is called The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but... And uh, this book, the first time I heard of it, I thought Game of Life. I thought it was one of those books where they teach you how to like manipulate people or manipulate situations to work for you i don't know that's just the vibe that i got from the uh title but it's actually the opposite it's basically about you know developing your faith your faith in god and your faith in yourself and it just talks about how to think better and to expect better out of life and how to train your thoughts to have you know to always look on the good side and the main thing that it actually taught me was how to have faith because i used to think i have faith but <laughs> after reading this book i realized i do not that i do not have faith because this book teaches you that when you have faith you don't sit down and still worry about how things are going to go like once you trust that god or the universe or whatever it is you believe in is going to take care of it that's it you start living as if it's already done basically so that's real faith that's the type of faith that moves mountain and then it also, it also teaches you that you believe that you're going to get something even if you're not sure of how to get something so this book is basically if you're into law of attraction if you're into if you're a religious person if you believe in god um yeah so if you're into um if you're someone who's suffering with like lack of faith or negative thoughts or just lack of faith in God or in yourself and I would definitely 
10 out of 10 recommend this book to you because it's so good so so good the second book that i would recommend is a book called atomic habits atomic habits by james clear <laughs> i'm laughing because i talk about this book literally in every video that i do <laughs> sorry guys sorry for the repetition it's because it's so good like it's such a good book I cannot even explain it to you guys. It's basically about the importance of habits, how to set and cultivate positive habits, how to replace bad habits with good habits. You know, it also talks about the importance of your the environment which you put yourself in and how that impacts your habits. For example, if you're trying to quit smoking, you cannot hang around smokers. It doesn't make any sense. Like we don't have enough willpower. As human beings to be able to just wake up and say from today on I'm not doing this <laughs> you know so the easiest way to change is by building like these small habits until you accomplish a, a bigger goal that's why it's called atomic habits like small parts building a bigger picture you know and I would recommend this book to people who struggle with uh, addiction like alcohol drug marijuana whatever any type of addiction that you're trying to quit, I would suggest this book to you. Also, I would suggest this to people who have problems with procrastination, problems with setting and accomplishing goals, problems with feeling like, you know, failing at certain goals because it's the small things that we do every single day that help us achieve those big goals and this book teaches you how to do that every single day by building habits. So yeah, let me stop there before I talk about this book the whole day. <laughs> Whoever wrote this book next week can pay me so that I can be talking about this book. I could do this all day. Anyway, the next book that I'm about to suggest to you guys is called How to Wait, let me read this. How to stubbornly refuse to make yourself miserable about anything. <laughs> That's a long title. By Albert Ellis, PhD. He's a psychologist who has a PhD so this book is basically about psychology and uh, self-therapy so self-therapy is basically counseling yourself you know how you go to a therapist but now you're the therapist and the client so you're doing it by yourself which is basically what I do because I'm not the kind of person who will ask for help from other people so it, so yeah basically this book teaches you how to it helps you with how to deal with everyday problems and how to solve regular like, occurring issues in your life and solve them in a way that helps you and helps the people around you so the book basically talks about so this is scientific research that has actually been done so it's all facts and it talks about irrational beliefs and uh, rational beliefs so irrational beliefs are like your beliefs that do not help you like self damaging beliefs and then rational ones are the ones your beliefs that actually help you with everyday situation so an example of an irrational belief is like let's say you failed an exam and you start thinking oh my god i'm stupid i will never succeed <laughs> so irrational beliefs are basically negative thoughts negative beliefs about yourself and an example of a rational belief is let's say you said you failed the exam right you're like you know what at least I'll, I'll get to retake another one i can prove myself i'm not stupid i'm still going to succeed in this career it, it doesn't matter how many times i do i repeat this exam i would still pass so that's basically the difference between irrational and rational beliefs so this book trains you how to replace irrational beliefs with uh, rational beliefs so it basically trains you to stop thinking negatively into thinking positively so i'd recommend this book to people who suffer with anxiety depression you know all kinds of mental issues i'd also advise i'd also recommend this to people who to people who struggle with negative thought pattern patterns sorry and yeah so i recommend this to everyone because we need the skills to deal with like everyday life you know it's not just something that you need once in your life you'll take the skills throughout your life for me i've read this book so many times because it's always something new that i'm learning so yeah um i'll definitely advise you guys to take to read some of these books if you're interested because they're really good they really help you like work on yourself and i feel like we need to work on ourselves from the inside out sometimes you think like when you accomplish this and that 
you will become a better person but then you accomplish them and you realize you're still you like you have the same problems same emotional the same emotional issues so it's like improvement is from the inside out and i feel i'm very um i feel like we all need to commit ourselves to improving ourselves that way we can improve everything around us you know when you improve yourself everything around you improves and yeah basically that's it so if you're interested in reading these books go to my playlist i have a playlist uh, called my current reads so that's where you can find all these books maybe you can download it listen to listen to it um, offline or you can listen to it online on my playlist under uh, my current reads so let's this book let's read this book let's form a book club i don't find people who read the kind of books that i read so that you can sit down and talk about them so if you're willing to join my online <laughs> book club uh, leave me a comment comment with uh the fire emoji yes use that comment down below so that i can know who is into this and who okay so that i can know who's into this we don't care about the people who are not okay <laughs> so um give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate this kind of video and kindly subscribe to my channel we are growing guys small 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 but we are growing <laughs> and yeah thank you so much for watching I will see you on my next one. Oh my god, look at my background. <laughs> you know when you find good lighting, but your background is a shit. Like my my door is but there I'm welcome back to my channel. Let me make sure you're back.